Did you know that you could create your own custom version of ChatGPT that has specific knowledge, specific instructions, and responds exactly how you want it to? Or maybe you didn't know that you could have ChatGPT automate any task that you do with any type of software. For example, automating email responses with ChatGPT. Well, those two things are nothing compared to the seven ChatGPT hacks I'm gonna share with you in this video that you need to know for 2025. They're gonna make your life easier, they're gonna make you more productive, and they might even help you make more money. ChatGPT hack number one, is beginning to use projects. So what you need to do is you need to come over here, click on new project, you need to name this. For example, I'm gonna name this YouTube scripts. And now what I'm gonna be able to do is I'm gonna be able to give this custom instructions. For example, I can add different files in here like documents, code files, images, and more. And then what this will be able to do is access all of these different files. For example, I want this custom project to be something that helps me actually build better YouTube scripts. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've actually gone through and compiled a bunch of different successful YouTube scripts and I created them into a PDF. So I have right here all of my successful scripts and what this is going to do is allow me to upload this straight into ChatGPT so that it can now reference it. And all I have to do is click that right there. I'm going to X out of this. Now this has access to it. And I can also put right here custom instruction. For example, I want you to be a YouTube expert script writer that builds me scripts based on the scripts from my past successful videos. Every single response should make a video script that is 10 to 12 minutes long. And then I would also add in any other custom instructions. And now every single time that I use this ChatGPT project, guess what? I don't actually have to go through and open up new prompts. And this can also access several different tools and you could upload more files for it. For example, let's say that I'm going to be making this video right now, which is going to be seven different ChatGPT hacks that you need to know in 2025. I could just come over here, ask it this, and it's going to spit out a script based off of the other successful scripts that I put in here as files. Now I don't have to prompt ChatGPT with custom instructions every time I use it. For example, I'm going to say I am creating a new YouTube video about, please give me the script for it. And now this is literally going to go through and it is going to do that. And I'm going to have all of my different things right here within this different project. Now this is useful if you're using ChatGPT for work, if you're using ChatGPT for productivity, maybe you have it doing stuff for your finances, maybe you have it doing something for nutrition and then fitness and a bunch of other different things. And now you can have all those different projects that it can now come through and actually go through and automate for you. That's just the first ChatGPT hack that you need to know about. There are six others and they're going to keep getting crazier and crazier. Like right now, you can now call ChatGPT for free from your phone and have a conversation with it. All you have to do is pull out your phone and dial 1-800-CHAT-GPT and you don't even need a ChatGPT account to be able to do this. Here we go. Hi, I'm ChatGPT, an AI assistant. Hey, I'm traveling to the Dominican Republic in a few months. Could you tell me what the weather is typically like in the DR in March? In March, the Dominican Republic usually has warm and tropical weather. You can expect temperatures okay. to be in the mid- Perfect. What kind of clothes should I be packing? Should I pack sweatpants? Should I pack shorts? What should I pack if I was going on a trip there in March? For the Dominican Republic in March, pack light, breathable clothing. Shorts, t-shirts, swimsuits, and sundresses are ideal. You might want a light jacket or sweater for cooler evenings. Awesome, thank you so much. So as you can see, that just made ChatGPT free for everybody because you don't need to be on a computer to use it. You don't need the app on your phone to use it. Instead, you just call up ChatGPT whenever you want to talk to it. But there are still five other things that you could do like automating your email and even charging people for your custom version of ChatGPT. But before I get into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna learn how to use ChatGPT better or how to get smarter or more productive with AI, you're not going to want to miss any of the content I'm uploading to YouTube. Hack number three with ChatGPT is you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of uploading photos to ChatGPT because instead of typing something out, uploading a photo is way quicker. Let's say that I wanted to show ChatGPT a bunch of my trending videos on YouTube. All I'd have to do is pull up all of my trending videos. I can take a screenshot of this right here and then I can come over to ChatGPT. I can put this in here and say, what are the titles of my trending 
videos. Now you can literally do this with anything. You could do this with a legal document. You could do this with an invoice. You could do this with a long email. Instead of copying and posting it or typing it out, literally just get ChatGPT to do something in a photo like this. And you could even say something along the lines of translate this, translate this to German. So if somebody had texted you in a different language or you have text that's in a different language or something along the lines of that, you could literally just upload this to ChatGPT and now ChatGPT will be able to translate this across several different languages. But what's even crazier is this is the way that you need to think about using ChatGPT. Instead of typing something that ChatGPT, upload a photo. Instead of uploading a photo to ChatGPT, just talk to it because talking to ChatGPT is actually the quickest way right now to interface with it. Number three is that you can actually create and explore different custom chat GPTs and you could even charge people for these. So if we come over here and click on explore GPTs, we're going to see this pop up and there are a bunch of different categories that they fit into. For example, writing, productivity, research and analysis. And what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to click on different ones of these. For example, this one right here, write tailored engaging content with a focus on quality, relevance and precise word count. So if I click into this, this is going to pull up a new window of ChatGPT and we're gonna be able to see all the different conversation starters, its capabilities, its ratings, what people think about it and other things that this creator right here has actually created. It will also show you how many different conversations have been had with this. Now, if you wanna be able to create your own, just come over here, click create, and then you're actually gonna be able to create your own. You could upload your own logo, your own name, a description, and you can give it specific instructions and even conversation starters. Now, the craziest part about this is uploading custom knowledge to it. For example, you could upload a bunch of different files to it. Let's say that I wanted to make this the perfect script writer, or I wanted to make it my financial advisor. What I would do is upload a bunch of things that are relevant to whatever I'm trying to get it to do, and then it's going to have all of that different knowledge. It's going to be trained on that. Now, what you can do from there is if you actually go ahead and create this, let me come over to one that I have already created. For example, one right here that I've already created. Anyone with a link is going to be able to access this. So what I can do is I can click into this right here. This has a bunch of different things. And basically I did this one to find different TikTok trends is if I click share up here, I made this so anyone with a link is going to be able to access this. So now what I can do is I can copy that link. I can put that link behind a paywall. And now only people that have access to my link link are going to be able to access this different ChatGPT. Now, the next thing that you can use ChatGPT for is to actually get predictive feedback. For example, if we came over here right now and typed in something like YouTube algorithm, we're going to see a bunch of different videos and a bunch of different thumbnails. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to ask ChatGPT which one it thinks will do better. I'm going to say, these are two thumbnails for videos about the YouTube algorithm. Which one do you think will get more views and why? Now what you can do is do this with your video and do this with a competitor's video. And notice that this does not say how many views are there or how many views per hour it's getting, but what this will actually show you is that thumbnail number one is more technical, thumbnail number two is more personable. So which one will likely get more views? Thumbnail number two. Now guess what? If we see this actually play out, this video has gotten 12,000 views in just two days. This video got 38,000 views in one month, and this video is currently getting 112 views per hour. This one's six views per hour. So ChatGPT literally was able to predict that this video was going to do better than the other video on YouTube. And you can use this in so many different things for your life to be able to predict how people will respond to things or how something might perform. But there are still three other hacks that I need to share with you when it comes to ChatGPT. One of them is going to show you the perfect prompt that you could be using. The second one is going to show you how to automate your email with ChatGPT and how you can stop using Google search and just use ChatGPT when you go to search something. So in order to access search on ChatGPT, what you're going to want to do is move me out of the way. You're going to want to come over here. You're going to want to click on get ChatGPT search extension, and then you want to download this. Now, whenever you go to search for something, it's going to pull up ChatGPT if it's something ChatGPT could actually answer. For example, I'm going to ask this, what is the weather right now in Bartlett, Tennessee? And what this is going to do is actually pull up ChatGPT. So I did a search for this 
on Google or just in my Chrome, but it actually pulled up ChatGPT and it gave me all the information I wanted. Pulled up the location, it gave me the time right now, it gave me the day, it gave me the weather, it also gave me what the weather is going to look like for the rest of the week, and it can cite its sources here. Now what this does is a way better search experience because it just skips and gives me the answer. If I were to search for this on Google, I would have had to go through a bunch of links to maybe find the answer that I wanted. And you can do this for anything. For example, I'm going to say something along the lines of what are some trends for fitness right now on TikTok. And again, this is going to search using ChatGPT. And then this is going to pull up ChatGPT. It is going to search the web and it is going to give me several different trends that are actually working. And again, it cites its sources. So I don't actually have to go through on a Google search, look at all these links. I just get all of this information automatically. And then I can ask it to continue to do different things based with that information. If we look here, it's actually using articles that are trending right now from the last two days, the last seven days. And if we come into these sources, I can see when all these articles were actually written. And when it comes to actually creating the perfect chat GPT prompt, this is going to be hack number six. And you need to be focused on doing four things correct when it comes to your prompts on chat GPT, because if you leave any of this out, you're going to get less than desirable results. The first thing you need to do is assign a role to chat GPT. The second thing that you need to do is give it a additional context. Ideally, you should give it a great example of what you want it to do. Third, you need to make sure your prompt is very concise and very specific and has all the details ChatGPT is going to need. And then fourth, you need to give it any delimiters. Here's an example. So here is what this is actually going to look like in practice. Let's say that we want ChatGPT to write us a perfect email. We're going to assign it the role. I need you to be an, an expert at crafting emails that get a response from people with 20 years of experience using human psychology. And then I'm going to say to it, I need to craft an email promoting my video about seven ChatGPT hacks people need to know for 2025. I'm going to give it a direct ask. Please create an an email based on the example that I provided you. And then I need to give it the delimiter, which is going to be, please do not make the email any longer than the one I provide you with. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna copy all this, I'm gonna come over to ChatGPT, I'm gonna get a screenshot of a perfect email. For example, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this right here. Again, I'm gonna come over to ChatGPT, I'm gonna pull this up, I'm gonna grab this email, I'm gonna put this in here, and once this is uploaded, it's going to allow me to send it. Now what this is gonna do, it is going to use the perfect prompt right here that gave it context, it gave it a role, it gave it exactly what I wanted to, and I gave it some limits so that it now is going to look at this and it's going to spit out the perfect email template that I can use to now get more views on this YouTube video if I sent this out to my email subscribers. And when it comes to automating your emails with ChatGPT, you could do that with make.com. In fact, you could do this for a bunch of different things. So what you want to do is you want to come over here and come into apps and service and literally anything that you can imagine hooking ChatGPT up to, you can. So what I'm going to type in right here is I'm going to type in Gmail because personally I use Gmail. If I click on this right here, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to connect Gmail to ChatGPT and I'm going to be able to do all these different things. I could copy an email. I can modify email labels. I could create a draft. I can mark an email as read. I can move an email. I can send an email and I can do all of these different things once I connect ChatGPT to my Gmail. Now what I'll be able to do from there is actually get out of my email. I can get out of my email because I could just prompt ChatGPT to mark a bunch of things as read that fit certain criteria, or I could get it to draft email responses to every email that I have within my inbox. And this is gonna be a complete game changer. If you spend way too much time in email right now, you're gonna love using this. And again, there are hundreds of other integrations that you can use, and you can use this to begin to automate your life with ChatGPT so you are just sitting in one interface, not going between a bunch of tabs and ChatGPT is going to be able to manually do a lot of this work for you. But I do want to warn you, I don't want ChatGPT to be the only AI tool that you're using because if you watch this video right here, it's going to show you seven different free AI tools that you're going to wish you knew sooner that are going to make you more productive, allow you to automate your work, and even make some money online if that's your goal. I'll see you over there.